Professor Keith Moore is one of the world's prominent scientists in the fields of anatomy and embryology and is the author of the book entitled The Developing Human, which has been translated into eight languages. The book is considered a scientific reference work and was chosen by the Special Committee in the United States as the best book authorized by one person. In the 1940s, uh, Professor Streeter of the Carnegie Institute of Embryology in Washington, D.C., proposed a system for classifying the stages of human development. His system arranged human embryos in 23 numbered sta stages based on their difference, differences in appearance. The Carnegie system of classification was used around the world until the 1970s when a more refined system was proposed by Dr. Ronan O'Reilly of the Carnegie Institute of Embryology, now in San Diego, California. Intensive studies of the Quran and Hadith in the last four years have revealed a system for classifying human embryos that is amazing since it was recorded in the 7th century AD. Although Aristotle, the founder of the science of embryology, realized that chick embryos developed in stages from his studies of hen's eggs in the 4th century B.C. He did not give any details about these stages. As far as it is known from the history of embryology, little was known about the staging and classification of human embryos until the 20th century. The first uh, stage is ad ad adapt, and you'll have to apologize my my pronunciation. Uh, this is from Surah uh, Tariq 6. He is created from a drop emitted. This Arabic term refers to the forceful emission of fluids which occurs during ejaculation in the male and ovulation in the female. The male secretions called semen contain the spermatozoa and the female secretions called follicular fluid contain the ovum. This is the stage of fertilization and the uh, nutva and after the, this is what we call the zygote uh, referred to in the Quran as the nutva and the nutva undergoes uh, division which we call cleavage as it passes down the uterine tube. So these are the stages of the nutva here as it undergoes uh, cell division. Another important aspect of the information mentioned in the verses of the Quran is the developmental stages of a human in the mother's womb. It is stated in the verses that in the mother's womb First the bones develop, and then the muscles form, which wrap around these bones. We then formed the drop into a clot, and formed the clot into a lump, and formed the lump into bones, and clothed the bones in flesh, and then brought him into being as another creature. Blessed be God, the best of creators. Embryology is a branch of science that studies the development of embryos in the mother's womb. Until very recently, embryologists assumed that the bones and muscles in an embryo developed at the same time. 
For this reason, for a long time, some people claimed that these verses were in conflict with science. Yet, advanced microscopic research conducted by virtue of new technological developments has revealed that the revelation of the Qur'an is word by word correct. These examinations at the microscopic level showed that the development inside the mother's womb takes place in just the way it is described in the verses. Obviously, uh, life begins at the moment of fertilization when a single sperm fuses with an ovum to form a one-celled embryo or zygote. At this moment, the ultimate character of that ind new individual is decided. The Quran recorded these facts 1400 years ago. And we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot, and we made the clot into a lump of flesh, and we made from the lump bones, and we covered the bones with flesh. Then we developed him into another creation. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. 